one minute and then we'll start. I see two people already logged in. Can you hear me? Can you write something if you hear me? Thank you. It's very useful information. So, I think uh, <laughs> all the way to Epic. Okay, now I know who is Plop1904. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. So, somebody asked me to draw Patrick. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, Mahomes or Mahomes or whatever. He seems to be a very important uh, American football player, I think. So let's draw him. Okay. You can ask me anything except for money. I'm working with a digital pencil, HB, in Procreate. One of these days I will work on paper, but then I have to connect my iPhone. And that's the next step. So, digitally, it's a little bit easier now. I want to be sure that the broadcasting works well. So Patrick, are you used to work with uh, Procreate yourself? You know how it works? You draw digitally? So at this stage, sometimes I just keep working on the same sketch on the same uh, layer, but when I want to keep it a little bit clean, I, I work on a new layer. So in that case, I work from zero, from scratch again, and I start working out the details. I hope you can see what I'm seeing here. I know it's a little bit lighter, but... Uh, 
Uh, the Cintiq, yeah, of course. Actually, I use my Cintiq to put my iPad on it. It's a perfect angle. So maybe you notice that I changed the direction of the eyes. I not always, but I I often like it when my subject is watching into the camera. This guy has a, a nice big nose. I would like to play some music, but I think uh, I would have trouble with uh, copyright organizations. I know there is free music, but usually it's not my kind of stuff.
five viewers now. That's nice. You can always say something in the chat or ask me something. Okay. Oh, yeah, Patrick, I like your uh, remark, but this guy is not such a difficult one, right? I mean, and of course, the, the choice of your photo is really important. Um, I just had an assignment for a big company, and I had uh, 13 people I had to draw, and, uh, you know... Some were really fun and easy. They had glasses or a beard or a very funny face. And then you have one guy who is almost bald, just really short hair, no glasses. Very young, actually, a guy. Yeah, how should I say handsome? But I have no idea about guys. Um, so there was nothing special about it. And that was actually the hardest person to draw in the whole thing but this guy has a lot of uh, interesting features I think the shape of his head and then the way his hair is cut makes his head even longer and then his eyes are his ears are a little bit standing open it has to do with the, the hair as well but he's not so difficult I think But of course, it happens to me too that I have to take a look how I should do it and what's the right thing to exaggerate. There is no magic, you know. I hope the ticking of my pencil doesn't disturb you guys too much. Last time somebody said, I hear your pencil. <laughs> Maybe I have to buy one of these plastic or rubber nibs that they sell. That should reduce the sound anyway. But I, I don't know if it's still it's still as sensible on the, on the screen. Sensitive, I mean. Ah, that's a good question. I hope in that case you have more than one photo of him. Or maybe if you have the problem now, you can send it to me. Maybe we can talk about it. That would be nice. Maybe we have a nice interaction on it.
I don't know if it's possible to send uh, an image in the chat. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you have more experience with this than me. I'm pretty new on Twitch. Oh, yeah, I guess so, about the delay, you know. <laughs> I have kind of five seconds of delay between the OBS streaming stuff and uh, what I see on Twitch. So you have no problem at this moment? Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. At the end, it looks like a portrait sometimes, right? It means that you have um, you have to make choices, and you shouldn't try to exaggerate everything. In this case, this this boy, this guy, this young guy, I put my emphasis on the long shape, and then the big nose. His eyes are also a little bit funny pointing inside maybe if I make a second sketch it would be better but this is just a life thing so I I'm allowed to make imperfections um, but I think it's important that you make your choices from the beginning and that you try to stick to them right I mean if you say, okay, the, the main feature is his nose, and then while you're drawing, you also give him big eyes and a big mouth, then I think you screwed up already because everything is in a relationship to, to, to one another, right? One second delay in the video versus the audio. Yeah. I have been asking some other people who have more experience with uh, Twitch than me and they say there is always a delay. There's not so much you can do about it. So I try not to watch the Twitch because then I get confused with what I'm doing on, on my iPad. I just watch the... I just watched the chat. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Patrick. If you have some other questions, I'll be happy to answer them. But maybe you know more than me. I don't. I don't really know you yet personally, so maybe you're very experienced with everything. Ah, Theo, there you are. You must go to bed soon, right? <laughs> it's already 12.30 almost. This is Theo from Greece. So Theo, you asked me to do something with a digital pencil. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> well... <laughs> I think um, maybe it also depends about it depends on the on the connections on the speed of stuff. Whoa, okay.
maybe if I don't move my lips, it's not so terrible to watch the delay. <laughs> Theo, was there a certain thing about the digital pencil that you wanted to ask me about or just watch how clumsy I am with it or See you with you. See you soon. Okay, clumsy is not the word you would pick. What I can tell you, it, it does feel different when you draw live than <clears throat> compared to when you draw just at your desk. When nobody's watching you, it's so much more simple. But I think in these days, we have to get used to digital broadcasting. I want to start online tutoring one-on-one, -on -one, so I have to get more handy with this, more skilled. Yeah, this is a, the standard Procreate HB pencil. But I will show you, um, I, made an, I made a copy of it. You can see this here. I don't know about the delay. I have two HB pencils and this is the normal one. I didn't change it and this one I tweaked a little bit and I will show you. I put it on Streamline because sometimes I need some assistance because um, my hand is a little bit shaky like many people have that issue and it's um, it's easy when you have to draw glasses, for example, right? See what I'm doing? This is the same pencil. And it corrects my thing a little bit. Hmm? Without the pencil, the, the tweaking, it would look like this. Well, I'm not so bad at this moment. <laughs> anyway, it works for me. And um, the only thing that's different, or the main thing that's different, is that um, you, it's hard to shadow with it because there is a delay on it because the streaming, the streamlining. Patrick, do you still do tutoring online? Well, I'm going to start it. One of these days, I think tomorrow I will, I will do the advertising about it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I hope I will have some people who will ask me to help them a little bit. So this tutoring will be really online with one person at a time. Could be anything. Could be a technical thing. It could be like, hey, I have a big assignment, but I I have some problems with some to, to draw somebody. Can you help me a little bit? 
could be anything. Can you show me to do watercolor? Can you show me this? Can you show me that? I, I'm supposed to know most of the techniques, so you, I think you can ask me pretty anything. Somebody said, yeah, please show uh, cross hatching on the streaming right now. But, you know, first of all, that would take a lot of time. And on the other hand, that's actually a, a typical thing that I would keep a little bit reserved for the online tutoring. Yeah, as a sketch, uh, I think I can kind of stop here. Right? So plop one nine oh four. It was your choice to pick this one. Is this um, result satisfying for you? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> So, um, maybe I stop on this one and uh, I will start another one. I found an, an interesting photo of Leyendecker, J.C. Leyendecker, a very famous American illustrator, a fantastic artist. So, I uh, thought, let's try to do him in this... Uh, stream okay Let's see, where did I put that photo of Lion de Here. If you don't know him, guys, you have to look him up. His name is pretty... Sounds pretty Dutch or German. Probably one of his ancestors was coming from Europe, like most of the Americans, actually. <laughs> but he was a fantastic artist. So. Let's give it a try. I think in this case... Um, There are a few things that are prominent for me. That is, um, his eyes are kind of sunken way back in his in his head. His nose is small, but a little bit popping out. And actually, this part of his face is kind of small compared to this part. His ear is standing low and a little bit backwards. So I'm going to try to do something with that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
if you want me to draw somebody else you can always send me a photo maybe through instagram or maybe in the chat i have no idea So you can see that his uh, his right eye left on the photo is totally almost totally in the darkness, and uh, the other eye is kind of well visible. So I want to emphasize that and maybe exaggerate that a little bit, that he's really looking at us with his. Uh... I hear some sound. So first, in a, first, I'm going to block some shapes and try to see what this uh, shading of this area means. He has an interesting nose, I think. A little bit difficult, but interesting. His eye is kind of important to me, so that's why I'm giving it a little bit more attention already in the beginning of this drawing, because I want to see if it works or not. There is another problem. This photo is not really sharp. It's a little bit blurry, <laughs> to say the least. So it might be possible that I'm not really sticky, sticking to the reality of what was going on here. And maybe I just have to try to create, um, how should I say, the atmosphere more than e the exact thing, because I don't even see everything. Eh? But anyway, so far, so good, I think. I'm not sure, but could be worse. Maybe this is a kind of a strange start to some of you, but that's uh, how I work. He doesn't have a big mouth and his upper lip is, how should I say, sticking out, protruding, how should I say it? So his, upper lip, his lower lip, I'm going to put it more in the back.
Hi Jorge, nice to meet you here. His chin is really, really small. Yeah. Oh, um, Patrick, um, I think there are many, many possible solutions for this nose, you know. I, this is just one, one choice and probably somebody else will make another choice. If you, I, I, I decided to put it outwards instead of down, because if you put it down, the lower part of his face would get too long. That was my main reason, I think. Um, 
the thing is when you when you draw you have to try to imagine how it will look after you finish so like uh, what am I doing is it working am I doing right um, it's not so easy um, and you have to believe in yourself you know like hmm this is working right because if if you if you are too critical for yourself um, maybe maybe it's it's not so good because then it, well I need motivation I need to motivate myself that's why sometimes I already put some detail in an eye or whatever to get some some preview of the possible final result you know what I mean You're welcome. He looks a little bit a little bit like a dentist or something, right? In those days artists were real artists. You could recognize their clothes that they were artists.
Okay, let's see what I can do with the other eye. Not so much, actually. But maybe I don't have to draw so much. I think the our own imagination fills in the right solution. Thank you, Jorge. Sure, Patrick. Sure. I will, um, yeah, you can, you can uh, write me, I'll give you all the details. If you want me to draw another person, I can uh, I can still do that, I think. Or start with it anyway. I didn't uh, really put an ending hour on this stream. So if you give me something challenging for me, or thing, a person that I think is interesting to draw, I can look it up. And we can do that. going to make him a little bit skinnier because I think he was really really skinny in this period of his life yeah. Sometimes a small detail is very important, like the positioning of the eyebrows. It, uh, it could change an expression totally.
Hi Theo, bye bye. Thanks for visiting this place. See you next time. So this drawing, I just made it on one layer because maybe because I started kind of um, detailed with the eye and I just continued on the same layer without thinking about it. Anyway, this is just a sketch. So um, if it would be for customer, I, I would make it more detailed or cleaner Okay. I think this is uh, almost finished. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Sometimes you find some int something interesting at the end, like the the shape of the iris could be better. Yeah, I think this is better. Okay, something like this, guys. So um, I made two sketches. Maybe that's enough. It's I've been busy one hour. I hope you liked it. Thank you, Patrick.
Okay, this is it. I hope you liked it. And I hope to see you again. And I will do the advertisement tomorrow about uh, online tutoring. But in the meantime, you can always send me an email or give me a direct message on Instagram. I will check it and I will answer as soon as I can. Any other questions? Oh, see you guys.